Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number four. Uh, this time we're going to have a little look at enlargement, the next of our transformations. Now the good news is that enlargement's dead easy if you can do rotations because it's, a, it's the same kind of thing. You need an object, you need a point and then you do an enlargement from it. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll take this opportunity just to show you some of the other things that you can do with Autograph to enhance some of your transformations work. Okay, so let's uh, let's get going. I've got rid of my key. Um, I'm in equal aspect mode. Let's get a shape. So let's keep things nice and simple. I think I'll just go for a nice little triangle. Um, either that was in point mode. I'm now just going to randomly click on an unoccupied part of the graph space not not a single point is selected so that's good news and I'm gonna marquee select drag around them all right click and group to shape so there's my triangle uh, right click somewhere to deselect everything let's whiz a point into the mix here so let's pop a point here and again let's hit escape and click randomly somewhere so everything's deselected now, to enlarge an, uh, enlarge an object in Autograph, Autograph needs to know what object you're enlarging, so we best give that a click, and it also needs to know the point that you're enlarging it from, so we'll give that a click too. So both of them are selected. Notice again, I'm in whiteboard mode, so I can um, just click on points to select them without having to hold down Shift. Um, okay, let's right click, and then one of the options I've got there, right at the bottom, is enlargement. Now, with Autograph, you get to choose your scale factor, so I think I'll go scale factor 2, that sounds good. Um, I tend to leave the construction lines on, on enlargement, whereas I don't on rotation, because I think they do a better job on enlargement. So let's have a look, click OK, and lo and behold, there's our enlarged object. Now, let's have a look at some of the things we can do. Firstly, if you want to change your scale factor, then you can double click on your enlarged object and change it to whatever you want, 3, that sounds good. Um, you can also drag your original object around and see the effect it has. And you can drag your center enlargement around and see the effect it has as well. But what I wanted to show you is um, it might be important to keep an eye on this point and know what the coordinates are. So let's just have a quick look now at a dynamic text box. And we'll do more work on this in the coming weeks. But if I just select this point, you'll notice it's got a little square around it. And now if I just bomb up here to the text box uh, little icon, click on that, what you get there is a dynamic text box. Now the reason it's dynamic is because these red bits, you can't alter those, they change depending on the position of the point. This kind of text that you can change, so I'm just going to call it point A. And there we've and let's um, let's go for a special different style. Let's go for a bit of ice blue and click OK, and what you get now is a, a movable text box, but what's really nice about it is, as this point moves, the text box updates as well. Now, dynamic text boxes are a brilliant, brilliant feature of Autograph, and we'll be looking at them in lots more detail in pretty much every topic that we cover. So, there's enlargements from a point. Of course, you can do fractional scale factors. That's not a problem. You can do negative scale factors. That's not a problem either. Okay, so there's enlargements. I uh, hope that's been of use. Um, as I say, if you've got any requests, just drop me an email, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.